Well, hello, YouTubers. My name is Eugene, and I'm going to make a video about my. Let me. Well, hello, YouTube. My name is Eugene. And I'm going to make a video giving you my impression of customer service, the phone quality, and pretty much overall my experience that I've had using um, Freedom Pop Wireless. Now, just to give you a quick background, uh, I have the Galaxy S3 with Verizon. My wife has a prepaid, prepaid plan with T-Mobile, also with the Galaxy S3. I found these phones to be a very good phone, even though they're a couple of years old. Um, they fit our needs. When my daughter wanted to get a phone, she's 12, um, we were considering both Freedom Pop and Republic Wireless. Now, Republic Wireless has a great... Uh, service. Um, they offer the Moto X and the Moto G phones. Um, they have plans that are very competitive. They use the Sprint network when outside of Wi-Fi. Otherwise, they have uh, phones that use Wi-Fi primarily. They have plans as low as $5 up to $40 per month, depending on what you need. Um, now, uh, Freedom Pop also uses uh, Sprint when it's outside the Wi-Fi network, but when it's within the Wi-Fi network, it uses whatever Wi-Fi you have at home, work, or coffee shop, wherever you're at, to make calls, text, and data. The advantage to using Freedom Pop was, even though the phone was a little bit more expensive, um, as long as we stayed on... Um, uh, Wi-Fi and or didn't exceed the minutes and data whatever limits we were given the plan itself is free uh, with Republic Wireless it, again it does similar things but there's a, a plan the minimum plan for them is five dollars and because of my uh, two phones I currently have and the fact that I'm unemployed right now are actually underemployed right now. I lost my full-time job. I'm still working part-time, but I'm, I'm collecting unemployment because of my part-time status. I didn't want to get into a contract. I didn't want to have to worry about doing making even a $40 bill every month uh, for my daughter. So that's why we, we, we chose Freedom Pop. Now, when I first went to Freedom Pop's site, the first thing they ask you to do is enter your email address and also enter your zip code so they can see if there's service in your area. Um, I, I'm familiar with the Sprint Network in this area. I know it works, but it's a requirement before you can do anything. Can't even see the phones or the plans, nothing. So I did that. Next screen that comes up is them asking for your address, again, for them to verify that there's service in your area, which I did. Once you get to that point, or get that enter that information you can now see the phones and the plans that they offer because we my wife and I both have the S3 my daughter wanted to get the S3 that was important to her to have the same phone that we have so they offer that phone for $200 I went ahead and made the purchase and at the end of that uh, that process they tell you that it's you're going to receive an email with your uh, information about when the phone is shipped but given no ship date the ship meant date um, I waited uh, I believe about a week or so and then I contacted them and they told me that the phone was on back order because it was very popular and it would take one to two weeks for me to get the phone in fact uh, that was on the uh, by the way that was on the 12th of June when I ordered the phone and now that I look here on my Twitter, I see on the 23rd, I said a week, but it was actually a little longer than I guess. It says here that, um, yeah, they're telling me here, the S3 is on high demand, and because of that, it's on back order. 
you should receive an email with your shipping confirmation in one to two weeks. Um, on the 26th, I sent them another Twitter tw uh, tweet asking them that there was something in my someplace in my account where I can look and see or when any, any additional tracking information. In other words, even before I see the email, maybe there's something that pops up in my, there's something in, under my account that would say, okay, your phone's on back order. I looked, I couldn't find it, so I sent them a message asking about it. And it says here, uh, Eugene, the reason uh, is because your phone is not has not been shipped. That's why, they, in other words, they're telling me that's why I can't see that it's on back order that hasn't been shipped, that, that don't, there's no status. We apologize for taking so long. You should receive your email within one to one and a half weeks. Thank you for your patience. Again, the, I initially talked to them or sent them a message on the 23rd. This is the 26th. And I said to them, I was told this same thing a few a uh, few days ago. And they said, sent me a message back saying, currently the tracking information can only be found in the email that was sent to you, not in your uh, uh, Freedom Pop account, because I was asking if I could find something that says it was back order again. Um, then on July 9th, oh, let me go back. I had, since it was taking so long for me to receive the phone, my daughter's harassing me. Daddy, where's my phone? Can you call them? Can you get us some information? I started doing research, and I found a couple of things that I didn't like. One of them was clients that had taken Freedom Pop service or gotten Freedom, Freedom Pop service, and it hadn't been charged additional fees for overages when they felt they shouldn't have. For example... One person said that they, by the time they got their phone, actually, I guess that's what this wasn't even a phone. This was their previous. The previous start to them was with a, um, a MiFi type device where you would turn it on, and then any Wi-Fi enabled device you had would then connect through that MiFi device or similar type device to the cellular network. And there was a person that had, that had gotten the device, turned it on, verified it worked. Claimed that he turned it off, put it in his backpack or storage or something before going on a trip. Then when they went on that trip, um, I think they said they weren't able to use it because it had gone over uh, over the data usage or something, something to that effect. Or there had been some charges, something like that. If you do some research, you could find that person probably and see the problems they were having. The second thing I found was that they, some of the people were finding that their phones were refurbished. I don't recall seeing anything about a refurbished phone in the information that I read. Now, it doesn't mean it wasn't there. I may have missed it. I may have misinterpreted something. I don't know, but I don't remember seeing it. If you are out there and you and you know for sure it's there, if you've seen it, please be my guest to mention it. But I can't go back to that screen where the phones are listed and all the information about them because now that I'm a customer, they no longer allow me to go back to that that point and when I tried to go back in and again enter my email address and all that stuff to try to see that page again it says well you're already a client with us we're not going to let you do this again or something to that effect so anyway the second thing oh th those are the two things that I, I found a little disturbing oh and there was also somebody uh, people talking about some overages for example there was one person who had waited for their device a period of time and they had uh, got charged. I guess they went. They got over. That's what it, I think. That's what it was. They had overages because there. They there wasn't a full thirty days in their cycle when they contacted Freedom Pop to find out why they hadn't received a full thirty for thirty days of service. Um, they were told that because of the day, basically, the, the the day that you order your phone is when your thirty days starts. That doesn't make sense. Especially in somebody in my position where the phone wasn't even sent for a long period of time. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. And just to give you an idea what I mean is my phone was ordered on the 12th of June. It wasn't received until well into July. And I'm going to go over that in a minute. Yet here we are on the 25th of July. And it tells me that i got four days left of my billing cycle. 
four days on a billing cycle where I've only had a phone for a week. It's supposed to be 30 days of service. I don't understand how that works. And they, and they were told, well, um, and since you've all, and, and I guess there was also somebody who had ordered a phone, wasn't happy because they hadn't received it, and finally tried to cancel. They said, oh, well, you went beyond your 30 days. Well, 30 days of doing what? Waiting for nothing? Waiting, wait, they didn't have any, any service to compare it to. No, or no, no, nothing to compare it to. They didn't get it this phone, so they couldn't use it. So they really didn't get a 30 day tr cancellation, um, uh, a po a possibility of canceling within 30 days because they didn't get the phone. And that's the kind of the situation that I'm in. Although I am able to return my phone and again, I'm going get, to get to that. So finally, on the 9th, I sent them an email, and like I said, they told me it was going to be one to two weeks. This is an on the ongoing story, always. doesn't matter, you know, it, but as you can see, it's been many, many days here. In fact, I think, yeah, 27 days, and they're still telling me one to two weeks. Well, that's what they told me 27 days ago or so. Uh, and uh, and I, I basically told them, I said, that was the story last week. Just say you have no idea. Be honest with me. Tell me what's going on. Tell me. I don't know. We got the phones. We've ordered them. They haven't come in. We don't know. So anyways, I contacted them again. Let's see. I must have contacted them. I guess I called them because I don't see it here. No, I know there was a tweet here, tw a tweet here somewhere. Anyways, I don't recall. Somewhere around here, I, I finally sent them a tweet a tweet asking them, you know, I see online that some people are saying they're getting refurbished phones. Is my, my phone going to be refurbished or is it going to be a new? It's a two-year-old phone. I thought $200 is a great deal for it, a brand new phone. And they said, no, your phone would be refurbished. Um, and no, I can't find it, but it was it was in here. So now, now I'm expecting a refurbished phone. Well, finally, I got the phone. Let me see here on the on the tenth, or on the ninth, I finally got tired of waiting, and I called them, and I told them enough's enough. You guys have misled me. Um, why don't you just return my my money, and I'll take my phone and go to Republic Wireless. So they then basically asked, "Well, what's the problem? Is it the reason you want to cancel because you haven't received the phone yet?" And of course, it did. That's exactly why it is. And I knew I, it was the 9th. I knew I only had a couple more days to cancel before I'd lose my 30-day window. So they then said, well, what if we could take your order and place it at the top of the list and get a phone out to you right away? Would you stay? I said, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, if you get tired of waiting, just tell them you're going to cancel, and they'll, they'll put you at the top of the list. In fact, I see it now here. On the 10th, I was when I asked them about being refurbished, and their response was, all of our phones are refurbished and inspected to ensure quality. Thank you for your patience. Okay. So finally, the phone arrived. Or the, like I said, they pushed me to the top of the list. The phone arrived on the 14th. Came by UPS. Plain box. Inside the box was... A UPS envelope that was open with a box. Inside the box, of course, was the phone, the power cord, and everything. Now, I don't know if they're being frugal, if they're being cheap, if they're being conscious of uh, the environment because they're saving the world. But this is not a good impression. No matter what the reason, I mean, I have no problem with it myself. It's a great idea, I guess. You know, I I, I re reused bubble wrap, but whatever. That's the impression that they're that they're they're happy with. Okay, so the phone came. Anyways, as you, you, as you can see, there's no damage to the box. The box is in perfect condition. The only damage to the bag, well, it's been used. No big deal, but it would work great as a bubble wrap. You can see here, the box is not damaged. Now, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but here's the S3 that we got. 
you can see probably see that there's a dent in the plastic there. There's a second one over here. There's a crack. Let's see if that shows up right there above the power where the power cord goes in. And then finally, I don't know if this is going to show up. Let me wipe off the glass a bit here. My shirt. There's actually, let's see if this is going to show up. No, I can't see it in the glass. But there's a crack in the screen. A crack in the screen. Now, the most important or the most expensive portion of the phone is the electronics. If you're going to sell refurbished devices, you save the electronics and you replace the pieces that don't cost hardly anything. Especially on a two-year-old phone. These, these plastic pieces, even the, the glass itself, is very inexpensive. Especially when you're somebody like Freedom Pop, who's going to be selling lots of these. You can buy this stuff in bulk and get a much better price than you or I on Amazon. So anyways, I called them up after receiving the phone, like I said, on the 14th. So this is a, a month and two days after I ordered the phone. And I tell them, you know, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm really not happy with the phone. Actually, I didn't call them, sorry, I didn't call them the 14th because I was at work when the phone got here. And that's something I want to mention too. It came by UPS and was left at the door. <clears throat> so I called them on the 15th and I said, you know, I've got the phone. It's got dents all over it. Um, it's got a crack in it right above the power supply where the power goes in. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not really not happy with this phone. I said, I understand that you're going to, yeah, that you sold me a refurbished, supposedly refurbished phone. This isn't refurbished. This is repurposed. All they did is take a phone that somebody turned in or, or somebody returned or whatever and then put their software on it and sent it out. That's not how you refurbish equipment. When you refurbish it, you replace the broken pieces. At least the glass. And the crack there, unacceptable. I told them right then, I said, you know, eventually this is going to stop charging probably because of that crack. At that time, they offered to send me another phone. But, of course, I've got to send back this phone first. So now I've got to be without a phone again. So I talked to my wife, and we finally decided to do that. <clears throat> well, I contacted them, was, I think, three days ago, which would have been the 22nd. And I told them, you know, I finally, I've decided, I talked to my wife, and we've discussed it, and we've decided that we want to send the phone back and get a replacement phone. So they gave me, uh, they told me, okay, well, we're going to um, send you out a, an email with an RMA number. That took uh, the, the full day. And I was going to send the phone back today until I got an, uh, uh, actually yesterday, until I got a message from UPS saying I got a package coming up. Well, let me see what this package is, because I wasn't expecting any packages. Sure enough, yesterday, actually it was the day before when I got the email, or got the text message, and then yesterday it showed up. Uh, nobody was home to sign for it, so they took it back until today. Well, as I stated previously, the first time they sent the phone, they just left it. This time they wanted a signature. Now I don't. Now I'm wondering, <clears throat> is this my replacement phone, or is this the phone they initially were going to be sending out? Somehow, and they got crossed in the wires, and when they sent me this new, this supposedly new phone. Or, new phone to me, they forgot to cancel this one, so now I've got two phones. So when I send this one back, am I going to get a, another phone? I don't know. But anyways, this phone, whichever way it is, has now been opened. Tape is still sealed. So I'm going to open it now and see what we have here. Should be another S3. Some 
kind of packing. Well, maybe this tells me that whether that's a replacement phone or if it's the initial phone. Um, doesn't say, just basically the shipping label. And uh, at least this time the the uh, bubble wrap's not all torn up. Not pre used, previously used. Again, very plain box. Doesn't matter to me, it's plain box. Just pointing that out. And the charger. Holy cow! <laughs> Now my my S3 was blue, is blue. My wife bought one from T-Mobile was white. My daughter really wanted a white one. She was very disappointed when the blue one showed up. Look what we have here. Look what we have here. A white Galaxy S3. No cracks in the screen. This is a beautiful phone. Oh, one little tiny dent. Actually, the case doesn't sit. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Let's see. I'm not sure what's going on here. The case doesn't quite fit. Looks like. But she's never going to notice. Other than that, it looks beautiful. There's one little tiny nick. And the, and the case, like I said, doesn't fit quite right, but I don't think she's going to notice, especially since she's going to have it in another case. But the important thing is this charging charging port looks intact, looks perfect. Whereas, like I said, on this one, it was cracked, and what I forgot to mention was I was right. It has stopped charging. I've had it for just just about a week. Stopped charging yesterday, so I'm glad I got that uh, process started before that actually happened. The service has not been a big deal. I haven't had any issues that I can speak of. Um, although it's not my phone, it's my daughter's phone. So, but as near as I can tell, there has not been any problems with the service. Now, but uh, my overall impression so far with um, uh, Freedom Pop has not been stellar. Now, you get what you pay for. We're getting a free service. We're buying a phone, but you're getting a free service. So maybe that's what I should expect. But uh, I would like a little more honesty with the company. Just come around and say, you know what? We're on back order. We don't know when you're going to get your phone. Rather than every couple of weeks, one to two weeks, one to two weeks, one to two weeks. I can't imagine the number of phone calls they're getting, the number of Twitter uh, uh, tweets they're getting. I don't know what the problem is in their supply chain, why they can't get more of these phones quicker. But um, anyway... I'm not impressed. Hopefully, they, my opinion will change. But right now, um, uh, the customer service is poor. Um, quality of the phone is, not, is poor in the fact that they're not refurbishing them. They're just sending them out. I am just got lucky, and this one is uh, a good-looking phone, I guess. Um, if you have any questions... Go ahead and put them in the comment section. Um, if you've had a better experience, I definitely want to know about that. If you guys have had a bad experience, well, that's up to you whether you say it. But if you had a better experience, we definitely don't want to support these startup companies, these smaller companies. Um, but uh, I think I really think they need to step it up. That's just my opinion. Um, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, I'll be sending this blue one back and waiting to see whether or not they're going to send me another one. Oh, by the way, something I forgot to say. 
I told them I wanted to return my phone, my daughter's phone actually, and I got an email. I thought it was a mistake yesterday saying my account was canceled. Sure enough, I look here and it says your account has was previously canceled to reinstate the service at a new data plan. I, I hope I'm not going to have a problem when I go to turn this phone on and activate this phone. Reactivating on this plan, we'll see. Uh, I may add another video later. So I will if I have a bad experience. If I have a good experience, well, I won't say anything. Because I'm hoping for a good experience. So if you don't see anything else, assume that everything went well. I think that's it. One more thing. Actually, there is one more thing. If you decide to go with Freedom Pop, understand that the free plan is only free as long as you don't exceed the minutes and texts and uh, data when you're on the Sprint Network. If you do, there are additional charges. Now, to make sure that you don't get charged, you can call them up and tell them to turn off the auto top off, I think they call it. Um, I think that should be automatically turned off. You should requ have to request to have it turned on. I would not have known that if I hadn't gone online and seen that someone had gotten some charges that he'd expect. And the representative left them a message. It not even been in their forums. I don't recall where I saw it. That said, turn off the auto top off. Well, if you don't want to have it auto topped up, turn it off. When you want to have it to add it on, you can then contact them. Or actually, I think you can even do it through the phone, through their app, and have it added on uh, at that time. Other than that, uh, other than that, I'm signing off. Um, I will stick with Freedom Pop for a couple of months at least, and make sure that everything's going well. Um, if I'm not happy after that, then I'll have to do something different. At this time, I am sticking with Freedom Pop, but Freedom Pop, if you're seeing this, um, these are some of the complaints I have. I'm sure there are other people. I've seen them online. I've seen them in your forums. You guys need to step it up. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, please uh, let me know that by using that, uh, what is it, up arrow, or up thumb, thumbs up. If you don't like it, well, you can do that too. Thanks a lot.